The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, How can a grown man be born? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, Unless a man is born through water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say, you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound. But you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, To be born again is to be born of the Spirit. When someone submits his or her life to Jesus, he or she is baptized. That baptism has water and spirit. Water is that which quenches your thirst and keeps you living always as long as this water is with you. The Spirit is something from above and this Spirit comes from God. The water is from the earth and it is from below. The spirit is from God and from above. The mingling of this both upon us makes us people of Jesus. And all those who are born on this earth of the flesh need to become of the Spirit by receiving the Spirit of God. At baptism, we have the Spirit coming upon us, taking possession of us and giving us also the mission to declare to the whole world that you belong to Christ. You will live for Christ and you will proclaim Christ. And we see how Nicodemus thinks you need to be born again. When Jesus says you need to be born again, in John chapter 3, verses 1 to 8, he says, how can I go back to mother's womb? A big man. It's a very... Silly question, silly understanding. But it gives a good meaning to you and me to say that we need 
to be born of the spirit though we are born of the flesh and when we are born of the spirit all our doings actions are guided by the spirit we begin to act with the promptings of the spirit and that's how we are people who belong to the kingdom of god and we are ready by the power of the spirit to enter the kingdom of god when time comes so my dear friends let us realize the spirit that is within us and knowing the spirit that is within us let us also know what we are saying what we are doing and all round actions that we perform in our lives amen